In this video, we're diving into Claude Dev. With Claude 3.5's advanced agentic coding capabilities, Claude Dev can manage complex software development tasks step by step. I'll be using it to build an 80s-style arcade snake game. We'll explore how complex the installation process is, how it works, and what costs are associated with it. We'll take it a step further, and I'll show you how to build a complete real-world React app with the help of Claude Dev in just five minutes. Why Claude 3.5 for programming? At our core, we're all about using the best tools for the job. That's why we rely on Claude 3.5 Sonnet for our development tasks. It's not just any large language model, it's proven to be the top performer when it comes to coding-related tasks. Just take a look at the code benchmark where it scored 92, surpassing models like GPT-40. With a context window that handles up to 200k tokens, that's roughly 150k words, or about 500 pages of a typical book, it's built to manage massive amounts of information without breaking a sweat. Whether you're dealing with detailed documentation or extensive code bases, Claude can keep up and provide valuable insights every step of the way. How does Claude Dev work? It first tries to get a complete picture of the project's file structure. It turns out Claude 3.5 Sonnet is really good at inferring what it needs to process further just from these file names alone. Claude Dev then dives into the source code, passing it to extract the names of classes, functions, methods, and other key definitions. This approach allows Claude Dev to understand your project as if it has studied the code base for years, making it the perfect coding buddy you can rely on. With its deep understanding of the code base, you can ask Claude to make changes like refactoring, adding new features, or even writing tests. The installation of Claude Dev is very simple. We can search for Claude Dev under Extensions and then just click on the green Install button. When you install it for the first time, you have to enter your Anthropic API key. After Claude Dev is installed, we see a small robot icon on the lower left side. When we click on it, the dialog box opens on the left side. And our first task for Claude Dev will be to implement a stylish snake game in JavaScript. We want it to have an 80s arcade look, and it should run in every browser. And what I really like is that the window shows us the tokens consumed, both input and output tokens, and even the costs associated with it. We are still at zero, but I think we'll drive up the price by a few cents soon. Okay, the work is finished. We have spent our first four cents, and it asks us if it can write a file named index.html in the current directory, and we agree to that. Then it asks about a style CSS and a script JS. After we agree to that, it goes back to work. And I'm curious to see the result, which we'll hopefully see soon. What stands out is that the code looks very clean, the method names are well chosen, and we see a clear structure with small, well-organized functions. The old prejudice that LLMs produce spaghetti code is definitely not the case here. And Claude Dev asks if it can start the web application. We agree and check out the result. We have a snake game in 80s arcade style, and it plays well. The snake gets longer, the scores are counted. Overall, it's a very impressive result. However, this was a relatively simple example. In the next few minutes, we'll be building a real web project with React, and I can tell you up front, it didn't go as smoothly as planned. Next, we want to build a more complex web application with React. Here, however, I'm still lacking ideas, which is why I'm asking GPT for 20 simple AI SaaS ideas that can be implemented quickly. We have a social media post generator, we have an AI dashboard for FAQs, and that sounds interesting. We have an AI resume optimizer. Okay, I will try to build this one in the next five minutes with you. We simply enter as a prompt that it should please build this as a React app. It gets to work, and we see that a new React app is being built in the background. Next, Cloud Dev creates the necessary components. We have an app.js component, which serves as the entry point. We have a resume input, a resume analysis, and an optimized resume. Good. We approve the creation of all these files, and I think I've never built a React app so quickly before. Okay, here's the CSS file for styling, and now we have everything set up. It says that it has built a new React app with the respective components and styling, 
Let's start the application. And it already looks pretty good. I would enter a resume once and see what the response is. We see that it has extracted the keywords and suggests improvements, and as a result, it outputs an optimized resume. However, the keywords and suggestions do not really match the resume. Let's navigate to the app.js. And indeed, we see here it is a simulated analysis so far and hard-coded values. So, in the next step, I will ask to replace the hard-coded values and improvement suggestions with real ones generated by OpenAI. To do this, we write to Cloud Dev, please replace the simulated analysis with a real one using GPT-40 Mini. OK, and it seems that at first, nothing happens. We first need to stop the current command. Then we try again. I re-enter the request, please replace the simulated analysis with a real one using GPT-40 Mini. It asks us if it can install the necessary libraries. We agree to this, so while the libraries are being installed, let's consider what our expectations are. So, my expectation is that the method for generating will be replaced with a real call to the OpenAI API, and here we see that this is exactly what happens. It uses a library called Axios to make a call to OpenAI. So, we allow it to overwrite the app.js file with the new logic, and we also need an OpenAI API key. For this, we simply go to the OpenAI development platform, create a new key, copy it, and set it directly in the code. So, let's try again. The analysis runs, and great, we see that the keywords have been perfectly extracted, and I get a list of suggestions for improvements on how to revise the CV, and that is already a very impressive result for such a short time. The only thing I would still like to improve is actually the design of the app. And for this, I would now simply go back and ask for a significant improvement in the design. I'm asked if I want to install the necessary libraries, to which I agree. OK, and it asks me if it can also adjust the files accordingly. I agree, and oh, what is this? It seems that we have reached the max number of requests for a task. I'll ignore it and click on Proceed. OK, false alarm at first, meaning not much seems to have happened here. That's good. Oh, we have a rate limit. We've exceeded the number of requests we are allowed to make per minute. OK, here the warning I received beforehand was probably very useful. This now really slows me down because I want to continue with this task and unfortunately don't have the opportunity. Another important point, we have already spent $1 on this app and I can imagine that if you develop with it all day, you can quickly reach up to $100 per day, which in my opinion, if it helps accelerate client projects would of course be worth it. But this is of course quite a high price where you would have to consider whether there is an alternative but it remains exciting. We have seen in the past that the most powerful models also become cheaper over time. In any case, a very exciting new tool which I will definitely integrate into my daily work.